All right, bike number uh, four, the Ducati Scrambler. This is something completely different from what I've been riding so far. Um, I've just been told this is a V-twin 800cc engine with about 70 horsepower. Um, it's got this really weird arrangement. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious about this thing. I, the clutch is kind of far away from me. These switches kind of feel cheap. I have no idea what this is for. Yeah, but th this is a completely different riding position than uh, the, the previous uh, couple of bikes I've been riding on. The, the, the handlebars are really, really high. But, you know, this is a scrambler type arrangement. Uh, I really like the styling of this bike with the, um, the grip guard uh, on the, the headlamps, the, uh, the beak, the khaki color looks really nice, I like the exhaust. Uh, this is a retro kind of bike. I've ridden the uh, Time Scrambler a couple of times before, which was nice, and uh, I have a feeling that this is going to be quite different. I think this is actually a scrambler here in front of me. Triumph scrambler, that is. Let's have a look, see? Yeah, it is. Let's see if we can challenge him to a duel. Because these bikes, in terms of power, they're fairly evenly matched. Oh my god, the sound! Oh, wow, that is absolutely great! I do not like this indicator. <laughs> For some reason the ABS light is uh, blinking. So I'm thinking I do not have ABS for some reason. The riding position is very scramblery with the elbows sticking out like this. Hello! Hi there! Alright, let's stand up. Yeah, my right leg is hitting the exhaust, which is kind of difficult for me to reach the brake pedal this way. But it can be done. This is a fun bike. This is about... Woo! The 
this isn't about gadgets or uh, you know comfort or touring or this is just about fun that is what this bike is about absolute unadulterated fun and it delivers oh my god behave quite nicely but that sound oh my god it is amazing digital dash it's got a digital readout for the um, speed if you can hear me it's got a, a digital analog replica um, tachometer and there's some other information on there which I don't know how to change oh there it is air temperature for mileage Oh yeah, there's, there's some information in there, not much. But, you know, on this bike, you don't need more than that, and frankly, it's more than what you'll get on a, on a Triumph. This is a scrambler for the modern age. The Triumph is a classic bike for the modern age. They're, they're so much alike, but in, in some sense, they're so different. Oh my god. I like this. I really like this. I like this scrambler because it, 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 the looks of it are great. Triumph scrambler that is. But this is well, this is in a class of its own. This is really nice. wobble at a hundred and sixty there but on a bike like this you really don't want to be doing 160 all the time I would expect more engine brake on a bike like this but it's very sedate Very well behaved. Still, I'd like a little bit more engine brake on a two cylinder bike like this. Yeah. negative side it's a two cylinder so there's quite a bit of vibration going on there um, there's a lot of vibration coming through uh, through the foot pegs I can feel it on the um, on my right inside leg 
uh, through the, uh, uh, the exhaust that my leg is resting against. I can imagine on a longer ride, and you know, this is a bike, personally, I, this is you know, the sort of bike that you'd buy to, to go out on a Sunday afternoon for, for a ride. Not exactly a bike you'd use to commute everywhere. That's my, just my opinion. Um, I can imagine on longer rides that the vibrations might not only get annoying, but they might also result in your foot going numb. So that is something to keep in mind. I don't recall the Triumph Scrambler uh, giving off this much vibration, even though... Um, yeah, I mean, th this is a V-twin, so this is kind of to be expected because of the, the shape of the um, uh, the crank. But the Triumph, even though it's a parallel twin, it also has a 270 degree crank. So it basically has the same type of crank that this bike has. And as far as I know, it doesn't give off the type, you know, this the same kind of vibration. But that's really the only negative thing I can say about this bike. I mean, you get what you pay for. You get a very nice bike, a very, that's fun to ride. You get the styling. Hi there. You get that awful, uh, awful, I mean awesome. You get that absolutely awesome soundtrack. Just listen to it. Oh my god. That is wonderful. So, um, off to the next bike. <laughs>